So as you might have figured out by now, I'm not really one for cheesy intros or flashy gimmicks. So let's just get into answering some of your questions. Bearing answers your questions, your answers your questions. Bearing answers your questions, your answers your questions. That magnificent bastard Thorium asks, a hot cunt or a cold beer? Great question, Thorium, and two tempting choices. That's why I'm inclined to say both. See, there's no real reason one can't enjoy both a hot cunt and a cold beer simultaneously. Then there's the variations to consider. If I was actor slash heartthrob Brian Gosling, I could be a hot cunt having a cold beer. But if I was an Englishman like you, I could be a cold cunt having a hot beer. Pedro the Unicorn Fucker writes, Oi bearing you cunt, what part of fucking Australia are you from? I'm from Melbourne, Pedro. Thanks for your question. Therese Lindbergh wrote, How old are you in human years? G'day Therese, I'm approximately 30 human years old. Santa Cup writes, What field of work are you in, if you don't mind me asking? Not at all, Santa Cup. Thanks for your question. I'm a freelance consultant in the property industry, as well as a part-time, obnoxious, sarcastic brown bear. Now, the time that I'm able to dedicate to the latter really depends on its financial viability. So if you'd like to see more bearing, you can always head over to my Patreon page and, you know, give me your money. There's a link in the description. Project Echo Shadow writes, what's the difference between a fish? In the card game Fish, players are dealt between five and seven cards and the rest are placed in the centre of the table. Players then ask each other for specific cards in order to collect all four of one type of card. The aim of the game is to end up with the most sets of four cards. Now when a player asks another for a particular type of card and the other player does not have one to give, they respond by saying, Fish. And a card is drawn from the pile at the centre of the table. Now as there are 14 ranks of card from ace to king, the difference between fish can be anywhere from 1 to 14. Steve Tallon writes, What prompted you to start making videos in the first place? Also, what kind of bear are you? Good question, Steve. A few months ago, me and some mates were watching one of Sargon of Akkad's videos about some nutcase feminist. I then found myself wondering whether Australia has any ranting feminazis like the one I'd just seen. After a bit of searching, I stumbled across Talisha the Crazy Australian Feminist and found that nobody was responding to the pure retardedness she was putting out there, so I made it my civil duty to set her straight. A few days later, Talisha responded to my video with more nonsensical verbal diarrhoea, so I just had to address this new round of pure spastication for the greater good of mankind. And on we went until there were five crazy Australian feminist videos. Now as a result of this series, other YouTubers undoomed and feminism is for nobody became aware of Talisha and also found it necessary to set her straight. As of today's date, roughly 185,000 people have been made aware of Talisha's toxic femininity. In relation to the second part of your question, I'm an obnoxious, sarcastic cartoon bear from Australia. Thanks for your question, Steve. And thanks also for your videos. I particularly enjoyed the one you published last week about how long it takes to get blocked by Steve Shives. Sandspider writes, How old are you? Do you work or study? P.S. I love the vids. Always intelligent, informative and funny. Sometimes I laugh so hard I can't bear it. Oh snap. Thanks for your question, Sandspider. I've already answered most of these in previous questions. There's really only one thing I can add to this. Mr. Brembador asks, what drove you to make YouTube videos about feminism? And do you consider yourself an MRA or MGTOW? Or do you feel such labels bear no weight? Good question. The way I see it, I make YouTube videos about stupidity. Now, if feminists feel the need to consistently demonstrate that they're the stupidest people on the internet, well, that's not my fault. I don't consider myself an MRA or MGTOW. If anything, I'd say I stand for people's rights. I'd just as happily publish a video tearing down an MRA for sprouting dumb ideas, 
but in my experience, MRAs are working towards a reasonable and defined set of goals. Feminists, on the other hand, are usually unreasonable and have no defined goals. It seems to me they're more interested in complaining and maintaining some sort of victim status than actually achieving anything, which doesn't help anyone. Mark Alazi writes, I just wanted to say thank you for all your sick country. Question, do you play any games, and if so, which ones? You're more than welcome, Mark, and thank you for your question. I don't really play any games anymore. Until a couple of years ago, I'd have a crack at Day of Defeat or Counter-Strike every now and then, but I've never really been a full-on gamer. You'd be more likely to see me playing a guitar or a ukulele than a video game. Lauren Galbraith says, Where did you get your intro music? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was your own, but I'm genuinely curious. I'd love to hear more if it truly is your work. And which feminists do you hate the most? Thanks for your question, Lauren. The outro music that I use is by an Australian punk band called No Credit. While I'm not in the band itself, I contribute significantly to the writing, recording and production of their music. In that particular song, I was the engineer, producer and backing vocalist. I have released my own music in the past. Tell you what, I'll finish this video with one of my own tracks. Now I wouldn't say that I hate any feminists. At the end of the day, they're just people, and I'm sure that in their crazy mixed up heads they're doing the right thing. If I had to pick the most ridiculous feminists out there, I'd probably say Clementine Ford, because she actually is a horrible person, and Lacey Green, because she has so much influence over young minds, which is a scary thought. Now that's all the questions I can be fucked answering for now. I will get to more of them at some undisclosed point in the future. Thanks as always for watching. What if we could see Wasn't necessarily reality The sky was in the sea And the sea was in the sky Where the sun should be Funny little world in my mixed up brain Drinking too much piss Get a fried again Weekends coming up in a couple of days I'm gonna get fucked up In so many ways What if we could see And there's powder on the table But my nose is so damn clogged And I don't know if I'm able To have another bump So I'll leave it one for later Give the boys a fucking wink And say get out of nada But nada's sitting in the chair The cracky in his hand Talking way too fast And I can't understand him What if we should see Was it necessarily reality The sky was in the sea And the sea was in the sky Where the sun should be Come on Sun should fucking be